Well, hello everybody, this is Cool Dude Clem here. And this is my new telescope. I got this for my birthday a few days ago. And it's a refracting telescope. Sorry, reflecting telescope. And it's called a reflecting telescope because instead of a lens at the end here, it has a mirror at the back. I don't know if you can see that very well, but you can see the reflection of my hand in there. Now you'd think that this stuff here would get in the picture, but it doesn't. This is the eyepiece and um, here's the little finder scope. Okay, I was temporarily interrupted there, but I'll try to carry on from where I was. Now, if you're wondering how the light gets from the mirror at the back to the eyepiece, um, we just come around to the front of it again. It's got kind of dark, so I'll just um, turn the light on. Behind this bit here is uh, another mirror which reflects it. This is the focus knob here. And it came with this tripod which has got loads of knobs here. You can, this one will move it left and right. And this one is for the up and down. When I turn it, you can see, well, probably can't see, but moves it slowly, so you can... Well, I've forgotten what I was going to say, but anyway, um, it also came with these lenses that you can probably see down here. I'll just turn the camera's light on so you might be able to see it better. Yeah, it's about 7.30 in the evening now, and the moon is out. You may be able to see it through the camera. Got a lot of the blue sky. Let's see if we can see it through the telescope. There it is, through the telescope. Well, a little bit of it anyway. thing is this was not designed for cameras. Ah, there we go. Now I've got the camera lens up to the telescope, up to the telescope eyepiece. This is what you can see through it. This is the moon. Let's try to focus it so we can see it, so the camera can see it. Must be a bit glary, but there it is. Problem is, it's moving as I'm doing this. You can see some of the craters there. Of course, I've had a proper adapter for this, so I could connect the camera properly. We'd be able to see this much better.